Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Gardrone. Now, I know it's kind of a random thing to take a look at, but Gardrone is a UFO, and UFOs are in space. And just what happened today, there was a solar eclipse today, and I was actually in the path of totality, which I don't know what it actually means, but I know that's a good thing. Basically, I got to see that I got to see the solar eclipse in its most beautiful state mm, And it was actually just I can't really describe it. It looked like a black hole It was it was it was amazing It was it was gorgeous and Yeah, honestly, I'm very excited to take a look at this because I actually made this set a long time ago I don't know if anyone else has made one like this. I didn't go check before I did this yeah, we're going to take a look at it today. And this is actually one rallied by my friend. He was like, hey, I want to get a GSA guard drone. So, can you tell me what could be good for it? So, I just made a set. And yeah, that's what we're running with today. But yeah, we have Rage from Plushy here with Frail Tender, very smart. I think this is the best personality for guard drone. Being able to hit as hard as physically possible is just the best option with guard drone. Mm. And then Rage from Plushy, allowing us to get a plus two in our range attack whenever we're hit with a super effective move. And chances of us dying to that super effective move are very, very high. But that is where Clutch comes in. Where if we are at full health and we get hit with a move that would have one-shot us, we're going to remain at one health. And usually moves that one-shot you are moves that are super effective. So, the whole idea is afterward, we want to click Accelerate. Which then will be at plus two attack and plus two range attack with really good coverage options to kill stuff. But... There's always a twist to these things. It sounds great, but the problem is that priority can exist. So you need to get rid of priority users so you can get um, your nice, clean, late game sweep. But yeah, here with the TPs, I went with 80 HP because it's just extras that I had. 68 energy gets us to 250 at uh, level 50. And then 200 range attack allows us to hit as hard as possible. And then the 152 speed allows us to get to 210 speed at plus 2 speed. <clears throat> but yeah, the coverage moves here is just Bolt Beam with Metal Blast. It's, it's just fine. You can run Fire Breath if you really want to. But I think that this one works fine because Metal Blast is just nice to have for Stab. Even though Stab sucks, 25% mm, more energy is 25% more energy. And Fire Breath really is not doing that much for you. Because what? What does Fire hit? Plant, Dark, stuff like that. You're not too stressed about it. Dark Tax is the only thing you don't hit. But then with Metal, you get to hit... Uh, light and ice so you have more options like that But yeah, hope that you all enjoy and without further ado, let us get straight into it Now there's actually a little bit of a problem with this dark drone because if we fight interrupted on it's Jover Okay, let's look at this here possible priority users. We have light speed ray shadow sprint quick pounce And that's it. So we just have to get rid of these three right here which Gardrone does have pretty okay moves into them. We're going to try to go for a lead like this. Um, dealing with that Shachi is just pray that Faraglyph can tank more than one hit. Mm. And then, yeah, I kind of need Gardrone to beat that Charonix. So, I think... What about Ace Theo? I mean, Eleanor is great here, right? Like, Eleanor is really good. Uh, and I'm also ranged Dorigo, so I wanted to try that out. Uh... Or do we go into Naima because he has not a lot of ways to stop this. And then the problem child here is this Charonix, most definitely. So it's like no matter what we bring, we're going to be weak to it. I think I just want to bring Eleanor though, Loki. Like I feel like this is going to be a good bring. Charonix is in. Okay. Um, I'm going to slap this thing. <clears throat> I don't see why not. Also, why did Jet get tagged? That's weird. Is he going to magnify? You know, he just goes for Frost Beam immediately. Now, I feel like here we can assume that a Light Speed Ray comes out. So, low key, I'm going to go into... Uh, I'm going to go into our drone here, honestly. <clears throat> I don't see why he doesn't go for Light Speed Ray. Let's see, like, Nova Blast or Spectre Burst, but even then, Gardrone has decent range attack or range defense bulk. Light Speed Ray. All right, nice. And now... He would never want to stay because I have a Metal Blast. Uh, I can accelerate, honestly. Let's see what he goes into. Malamurk. Ooh, wait, will he Boom Bash? 
Oh, no, but we need to get rid of uh, all these users. All right, let's go for deep freeze. It's quite effective, but chances of it killing is actually kind of low because mm, Mamrick is very bulky. <clears throat> Driving force. That's going to get rid of our, our uh, Rageful as well. Which is really sad, but we get a really big hit off on the Malmerk. But yeah, it was little... We have to threaten out this Tronix with Gardrone or else it's just... It's it's so over. Of course it goes Nymeray. The one thing that can't actually stop this Malmerk. My Jetstream won't even kill it. Because <clears throat> he's very clever. So I won't even get the kill here. Which really, really sucks. Yep. That's fun. That is fun that you get the one thing that I can't stop with Nyma. That's awesome. Okay, uh, I'll just go back our drone then. That's fun. <clears throat> why do people use these things? I don't get why people use these boring things. Do. I'll just deep freeze again. I mean, he could just stay in and kill Gar drone, but that's stupid. Then I actually get to react to what he does. So chances of him switching is pretty high here. Maybe I should have just clicked accelerate on his switch. <clears throat> yeah, switching is probable here. He goes into Vesp. Okay. I can only assume he goes for Slapdown. But nice damage there. Okay, not bad. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm not in a great spot in terms of, oh, can I actually win this battle? Not gonna lie. Okay, uh... I mean, I gotta go Eleanor, right? I can't really do much. If Charonix is a problem, and I can't really deal with the Charonix that well. He just switches probably into Charonix. Or obviously. And he has Malamurk as well, so Nyma can't break him. Okay. No one cares about the GSA, buddy. I, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. No one really cares. <clears throat> anyway. Uh this is not great. Cause he has so many bulky things and I can't break through any of it. Okay, I feel like he would just go back into Malamurk here. It's the only thing that really makes sense. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna double guard drone and think and I think that should work. Okay, so he plays really obvious. So that's a good thing. We can just go for deep freeze again, because his switches into it are bad. And he can never go Tyronix. Okay, he actually does stay in. And if he loses Malmerk, he loses his only real way of stopping Nyma. So I'm honestly fine with this. Now I can actually react. And send something in to beat this. Let's go. I could go Pharaoh and then provoke. Maybe. Or do I just go Eleanor and throw out the rogue? No, no, no. Actually, low key, if I could get my palm off on the Mawa. Low key. I'm gonna try to peace of mind here. I'm gonna try to. Because I know I can beat Mawa Merc. Unless he drivings. Gnarly Gash. I think that's gnarly. I forgot this thing had gnarly gash. I'm not gonna lie. Chances of Shadow Sprint killing me is pretty high. I completely forgot this thing got gnarly gash. Now it's just like if Shadow Sprint kills me, I'm in a really bad spot, right? <clears throat> that's the whole thing. And Shadow Sprint probably does kill me. Very Ronnie Vesper after Shadow Spread definitely kills me in this range. Uh, I'm just gonna go Nyma and, and pray. Honestly, I don't. I can't really do that much. I did not. I forgot this thing got an early ash. Like I just, I completely forgot. <laughs> okay, now we just flash and flee and hope the Charonix is is GSA for whatever reason. It's probably not though. Oh, Die Borg. Okay, uh, let's go Pharaoh. So that Charonix is actually GSA. I'm just gonna landslide. He's probably just gonna barter, though. If he barters, then Fairgoth's dead. Oh, he poisons. Nice, we get the kill on the Dive Borg. 
Uh, and then I can go and just landslide mm, on the Vesperatu if it comes in. And right now in the position we're in, we have to deal with a Charonix, an Obsidragon, and a Vesperatu. And if that Vesperatu, or if Charonix is GSA, then we win the game. So that's all we really got to deal with right now. I can just landslide here. Chances that, I mean, he can Shadow Sprint if he wants, but Slapdown could happen if he's scared of, yeah, he's scared of Nymeray. He was scared of Nymeray. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Nyma can just come in. Uh, we... So basically, Eleanor is completely useless because it cannot, it can barely even hit Charonix. Or, yeah, it can't hit Charonix and it barely hits Obsy. Oh, yeah, the Charonix is, GS, is GSA, isn't it? There's no way it isn't because he's not going straight into it. Yeah, that thing is, Oh, I should have Gamma Pulsed. Oops. Little mistake by me. Actually, Charonix is the better play to go into here. Definitely. I, I have to rely on the fact that this thing is a uh, GSA right now. Like, that's my only way of winning, is if this is GSA. I mean, what? He's Frostbeam, Lightspeed Ray, Spectral. Uh. Hmm. I mean, I think Nymeray can live one Frost Beam. I mean, I was, I don't, this is not a great battle because everything that he had, he could switch into my stuff, but we're going to see what happens. I doubt we're winning this, but there's always a very slight chance. Oh, I guess he just light speed Ray, right? Because, yeah, this is Charonix. Yeah, GG. I can't win now. Yeah. Little unfortunate. Had to, yeah, the Malmark living the deep freeze and the gnarly gash caught me off guard. Not much I could have done there. Not a whole lot. And was it GSA? It was, okay. So yeah, no, I just misplayed. I need to gamma pulse, not flash and flee. Mistake by me. I think if that happened, it still would have been lost because Tronix tanks one. But yeah. Okay. And here we go into the next one. Mm, Metal Blast. Deep freeze, deep freeze, metal blast, metal blast, metal blast. Okay. Mm, not too bad. Uh, Nymeray is really good because it switches into it are really bad. I want to try to get my traps up if I can. It'd be really nice to get up. Mm. Uh, I, I, I want to bring you and then this for Hunter. I think this works. Uh, beating the Nevermare is the thing that we need to prioritize here, because then Nymeria has perfect switches. Alright, I'm just going to provoke this, make sure I can't do anything. Yeah, provoke, so we can't use Accelerate, it can't be some weird trap setter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's boots. Okay. Interesting. Well, we just slap this so it doesn't get its boots anymore. He does like he has the speed lower though, so I don't have to be a match with the slap. Interesting though that they go for the immediate hit. He switches and he is into Rancidor. So he wants to get his soul siphon. No more ancient essence. Uh, Brittany can just come in and then I can throw out, I can either go perch or jet stream. Mm -mm. We get our Brittany in and he goes for his energy break. So this is soul siphon. Okay, his only switch into this is Nevermare right so 
feel like I can go back into Gargolem. And he goes into Nevermare. I want to get a layer of barbs though. Do I want to slap or get a layer of barbs? That's what I need to figure out what I want to do right now. Because my switches into this Nevermare are really, really bad. So I need as much damage as I can get on it. I think I'm just going to slap it. No more healthy ambulance recovery. Thing is, does he want to take the slap down or not? Okay, he does. Okay, good damage. No more plant essence. Okay, so he actually, with no more plant essence, he will struggle to break Nymeray. Because that was a little bit of a struggle that he's having. Um, Gardrone can always come in, but I want to save it. I actually forgot about that. I didn't look at the priority user. I know he has your snack. Which has Shadow Sprint, so as long as we're like at 40 health, we should always live that. Just gonna Jet Stream. If he Thistle Slashes, gets a crit. A crit will kill me next time. Uh, I have Shadow Sprint though, so I can go into this. Very tough, we need to take down this Nevermare. This still, he does crit there. This is where I shadow spin just to take down the Nevermare. This is why I like having all options of damage on your snack. Like slap down, heartbreak, shadow spin. So he switches and he's into Rancidor. Waba. Is this gonna barb? This would make sense to barb, right? Or driving. Actually, I'm not sure what he wants to do. I'm gonna go Nyma. If he, I don't think he would frost beam. If he does, then I lose Nyma. But I still put in good work, I think. Power focus. So this is wanting to do damage. Okay. This would only ever click frost beam. Let me flash and flee. This is just gonna throw out a damaging move. Going guard drone makes sense, but the question is, do I even outspeed Waba? Wobbalisk is chilling at 69, while his guard drone is at 152. It'd probably be bulky, seeing the damage that I did. Realistically, guard drone outspeeds, and his only damaging option would be driving force to kill me. Oh, I guess he has rogue assault. It does have rogue assault, earthquake, and electro punch. I don't have my clutch anymore. Oh, and I get frozen. Mm, let's Metal Blast if I can. I don't know if I outspeed it, though. Oh, he does. But no, no, no. That's not enough. Yeah, that's not enough. He should die to Metal Blast. It's a very smart stab-boosted Metal Blast on Wobblisk. Nice. We take that down. And he's into Gargolem. Okay. Uh, I mean, we know this is Boots. This thing be Boots is a big problem. What's Gargolem base's speed? Uh, 105. Ah, oh, man. This is really tough to take this thing down. I'll never be able to outspeed it either. Dark Surge. He expected Nyma on Earthquake. Okay. He never stays in. I get a free baffle. Hmm. Brancidor. Mm, let's check if we actually can outspeed it. Rancidor, 200, not 2,000, I meant 200, 200, with Nimble, like Gardrone at plus one, we do not outspeed it, okay. So at this point, Ferroglyph is completely fine, so let's just go Pharo. Alright, let's just Psycho Blast here. 
And I assume if we go Pharaoh, he's just gonna click. I mean, I don't know. Like, he's gonna click Jetstream if he goes back into Gargolem, right? That's where I get my damage with Psycho Blast. And if he clicks Jetstream, it could put me at half. But if he Dark Surges, it puts me at half. And then I get to get a lot of damage on him. And then if he goes for Jetstream, I get to just stay in. So, no, right now in the position I'm in, he would have to click. No. If he goes into his uh, Gargolem here, it's a mistake. Because it's like, oh, I have boots, I can threaten you with damage. It's a good idea. Okay, so yeah, he's aware. He's aware it's a mistake. I can't really stop this, huh? I have to go Nyma and then Jetstream it on his prediction that I am going to switch into your snack. That or he just clicks Thistal. Which if he does that, then I get to go, get to go your snack and then I get to throw Slapdown off. So right here... He thinks your snack's gonna come in because he knows this is gonna die, so he's gonna either go for... Does he go for Phantom Slash again? Watch him go for Phantom Slash again because he thinks your snack's gonna come in for the Shadow Spring because he's like, oh, I don't know, he doesn't want Nightmare to die. Even though Nightmare is not very good right now. Knowing that there's a Nightmare and a Gargolem, I don't know what the last is. And I already dealt with the Rancidor, so Nightmare did it, it had its purpose. Hmm... What do we got here? He's taking a little bit to make his decision. I mean, I get to, he's, yeah, he's thinking. He's really thinking about it right now. But I'm pretty sure he's just gonna Phantom Slash because he's gonna predict your snack coming in. If he Thistles, it's also completely fine. Okay, he just went Thistle. Oh, but it doesn't even crit. Yeah, no, there was, there was like a, 50% chance I was living this turn. There was, it was, it was that. Okay, this is probably master, so I'd rather it not get a boost. But even if it gets a boost, we can react. Because if it's earthquake, or if it's landslide... I think it's fine whatever movie goes for, right? I'm fine with this. Like, is it Master? Okay, so it's Jetstream. It is Master. He's not killing our drone, so... This is where we throw out the Deep Freeze that he can't stop. He has to switch, and he is going into Hunter. Okay. Oh, shoot. Ah, man, this is not great. I have to go into this, and if he switches into his Gargolem, then I have to slap down. If I don't slap down that Gargolem, I lose the game. So... Does... Okay, yeah, no, this is completely fine. Him doing this doesn't result in us losing the game. It actually wins us the game. If he stayed in with Hunter, it also won. No, he can't stop this. Let's... Yeah, we just slap here, get rid of his item. We need, we need to get rid of the item here. Okay, there we go. No more boots on his Gargolem. So, he, can't, he can now pick his moves. I'm just going to go Gardrone. I don't really care. Gardrone could die now. It's just, we, right now, we need Faragoth to get on the field. He doesn't have enough energy, either. Yeah, uh, I can just Deep Freeze. I don't really care if he goes Hunter or not. Because then, I, if I lose Gardrone, I go into your snack. Then I Baffle. And then I get the Ferragoth back on the field, which throws out Landside. It goes Gargola, my peace of mind, on his rest. Do, 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 do. Alright, he loses. GG's. He might have expected me to go for Thunderstrike, but I don't have to predict right now.
I have no moves either. I can only throw out deep freeze to hit the hunter. And then I just baffle. And then it's GG's. Yeah, this will be a good game. A, a G freaking G. Okay, so I don't know what he did. I wasn't looking. He can't really do that much because I have your snack still alive. Yeah, now we just baffle. Woo! Pretty scary there. Pretty spooky. But we do end up getting the landslide off, and hopefully this quad effective move on this thing actually kills the Malmark reference. Well, you know? That was actually a pretty fun battle, filled with a lot of plays and stuff, but overall, I didn't get the freaking Gardrone idea to work. I, I don't know. I still think on its own, it does output a lot of damage, but Gardrone definitely needs something. You know? I don't... I don't know. I think if it, um, got... if It's just weird, because priority is everywhere, and stuff like Gardrone isn't that great. Like, Pronsu does it a little bit better, in my opinion, because it is naturally quicker, so it doesn't have to invest that much. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Buh bye bye